Hey guys, this is Dan. Bear with me for a moment. I've never really done one of these before. But I have spent the last four hours watching Jenna Marvel's videos, so I think I've got the hang of this. Oh, Mr. Vaughn. Oh, yeah, get the pen. Oh, where are you going? I'm not going to work exactly the same way. We've been getting a lot of questions about if we plan to follow a schedule. Uh, and this is pretty much how we envision things. So one of the ways you can maximize your competitive potential is to get organized. We tried to push teams to develop what we call a schedule and adhere to it. Pick a simple task, complete your robot early, and practice extensively. Most teams only compete at one regional, and it's probably a good idea that you complete your robot before you get there. While other teams are trying to pass inspection or finish their robot, on Thursday, you're practicing and squeezing every last drop of competitiveness out of your robot. Mr. Ronald just knocked over my camera. He's not getting any treaties. The way we develop our schedules is by using a Gantt chart. Gantt charts illustrate start and finish dates of the terminal elements and summary elements of a product. Yeah, thanks Wikipedia. Basically, it's a pretty bar chart that gets you organized. The tasks are dependent on parent and child relationships and they follow a linear workflow through the course of your season. A Gantt chart is a typical way for an engineer to organize a project and you really should check one out unless you want your season to end like this. The Magic Cloud! Yeah, we didn't think so. We've uploaded a good example of what a Gantt chart should look like for a typical six week season. It's under the community resources section of our website. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at Robot in Three Days. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our blog, robotin3days.com. Robotin3days.com. It's kind of hard to say. Well, I should have thought about that. Mm.